All right, guys, so today we are going to look at this Kramer. It needs a little setup work. It was just bought brand new uh, Kramer Striker. Let's put this thing on the bench, do a little setup work on it. Let's check this thing out today. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. Have a good week. You too, man. Okay, so this guitar was just purchased, and my customer said that we have a little bit of buzz on a couple of the frets here. So just by throwing it up on my knee here, and the action is not like really, really low. But what I'm going to do, now you can see on this bridge, see how it's kind of setting down kind of low? It should be leveled out more about right there in that neighborhood. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. So what I'm going to do is we are just going to, we're just going to retune this thing. And we're going to tighten and maybe loosen these springs to see what we need to do here. I am going to, let's... Let's loosen up the nut right here so that we can tune it. Okay. And, uh, okay, it's flat. So let's go ahead and tune this up and uh, just a little bit here. Okay, so now let's Let's take a look at the bridge and see if it's setting flat. And no, it's still it's still diving deep on the back side here. So we are going to loosen this, the claw. Uh, I really like that they gave us some access here where we don't have to take this back plate off. We can just squeeze this screwdriver in here. And this should now tune it again. And this maybe will get that bridge to lay nice and flat there. Yeah, so it was a fun weekend Saturday. We had the Larry Mitchell event at the store. Larry came into the shop. Played his guitar for about two hours. <clears throat> he actually hung out for, honestly, he was here for like five hours on Saturday. I got to play his guitar a little bit. We had a great time. Saturday was a great day. Okay, you know this saddle. We're gonna, after we get it tuned, I'm gonna, we gotta check the intonation here. Because this, uh, D string looks like it's really far forward. Okay, just using a snark. And again, we're putting it a half step down. E flat tuning. A lot of guys leave comments. What is your quick and easy way to tune a Floyd uh, Floyd Rose Tram? There's a lot of times where beginning guitar players they want one like this. And sometimes I have to talk them out of it just to, because I want beginners to have a guitar that they can play and it's not always out of tune. So a friend of mine, his name is Mike, and he goes by 40 Grit. So he is a uh, guitar player, he is a guitar tech, 
And he used to work for Sir Guitars. And uh, so go over and check out 40 Grits channel, brand new channel. <clears throat> As of June of 2024, he has just over 400 subscribers. But he is a really knowledgeable guy and has a great, he's got a great set of tools and he's got a great collection of guitars. And a very knowledgeable guy. Go over and watch 40 Grit. Subscribe to his channel for me. I'd really appreciate that. All right. So here we are. We're pretty close to being in tune. Now I always back these fine tuners out a little bit before I lock the strings down and tune it one more time because we want to have a lot of adjustment here because a lot of times strings will stretch. I mean, all the time strings will stretch. So you want to have some room on your fine adjusters there. Stretch these babies out a little bit. Okay, let's tune it up one more time here. This is a Kramer Striker from 2023. Just came out of the box. Okay, throw it back up here on your knee like this. Let's see how it feels. I like it. All right, so right here our D string, the saddle is really far forward. It doesn't look like it would be intonated. Maybe it is. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's a C sharp. Okay, there's the harmonic. Okay, it is showing sharp. So when, when it shows sharp, you want to push back. All right? just a little bit so I'm going to let's bring you back in so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm pretty much got to start over again I'm going to loosen the D string and then I am going to move this saddle back a little bit and then uh, tune it all back and that should help this thing to be properly intimated. There we go, let's loosen that. Let me find the right wrench that goes in there, there it is. Okay, there we go, super simple. And I think what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna get a flathead screwdriver. And I'm just gonna move this back a little bit. Let's bring it right to there. Snug this down. There we go. There we go. Now, let's tune it back to pitch. So our other strings should still be where they were, right? Everything should still be close. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little retuning here. Beautiful, okay, now let's check the intonation. sharp. Tune it and check it. Looks good now. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit more. Let's 
just make sure I have the right wrench. Yeah, so sometimes it takes me a couple of times to get this just right. One more time here. There we go. One more time. There it is. Okay, now it's intonated. Now I can go ahead and lock the strings down here. The bridge is laying nice and flat. And there honestly should be No more dead frets. This thing is good to go. Just a quick tune up on it. Brand new guitar. Kramers. These are such iconic guitars. So classic. The whole Eddie Van Halen and all that. Just love these things. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick video. Go ahead and think about hitting that like button and subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff. You can uh, become a, a channel member. You can join us on Patreon. Uh, drop into my guitar shop. I am in Mesa, Arizona. Let's do some business. Let's do some trades. Let's buy and sell some guitars. Everybody have a great day. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.